Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You've got some glory here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Well, uh, this is the year of double witness. It is. And as such, I want to bring forth the point of view of God about what we're living in and what we're doing. Amen. Uh, the first scripture I want to put before you is the first First Corinthians 16 and 9. First Corinthians 16 and 9. Turn there, please. It's just one, one scripture, but it, we still need to put it before you where you, you know where we are and what we're doing. First Corinthians 16 and 9. This is a uh, Paul speaking, and it reads as follows the Greek scripture. For a great door and Effectual, that was powerful, is open unto me, and there are many adversaries. Hallelujah. What I want to give you is that, then after that, I want to turn back over to Mark, the 16th chapter and the 15th verse. This world system is wicked. The world system is and as you snatch people out of the world system through witnessing to them and bringing salvation to them, it reorders the world system under the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. See, because the world system has people of the world that are in the world, they are blind. They have no knowledge of how Satan blinds them and stops them from being able to grasp the things of God and receive the salvation that God has. So when we go back to Mark, and a great door, an effectual door is opened this year for us. We go back to Mark 16 and 15. Jesus speaking, it's in the red in your Bible. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world. I want you to go into this world system that's caught up in wickedness, that's caught up in evil, that wants to blind the people where they can't get the truth, where they can't come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Jesus is saying, Get out there. Go. Tear into in operation but what we want to do is to be able to minister the word of God to the people and release them from the bondage and the blindness that Satan has set up in the world system Bible is very clear. The world that then was being overflowed with water perished. The system that God had of righteousness, of love and kindness, Satan corrupted it, destroyed it, and had people blinded. But when you open your mouth and share the gospel of Jesus Christ with someone, what it does is it disrupts the world system and sets up Jesus as Lord and Savior and gives them people the gospel, the good news. They don't have to die in wickedness. They don't have to live in a 
place where there's no help and no hope. But God wants the people saved. He wants them to be under the authority of the blood of Jesus. And when I say they don't have to die, I'm not talking about just casually. God wants them to have eternal life, to live in the family of Father God. He wants them to be free of the encumberments of sin and darkness. He wants you to come into the light. Come into the light of the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. So we go back to Mark 16 and 15. And he said to them, Go ye into all the world, every crevice, every hamlet, every people, anyone that you know, and preach the gospel to every person, every creature. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. The believing one, the believing one that believes that Jesus is Lord, that he died for their sins, they shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be saved. Damn, the ones that just stay out of the world system, they're in unbelief. They don't believe that Jesus died for them on Golgotha, that he was on the cross, not for his sins, but for our sins. He was on the cross for we missing the mark. He never missed the mark. He took all of the sins that we had upon him so that we, in the end, when we receive him as Lord and Savior, can be free of encumberment, free of the power of darkness over our lives. Verse 17, and these signs shall follow them that believe. These portents, these particular forces that show that God is in control. These signs will follow them that believe. The believing one, signs will follow them. In my name shall they cast out devils. See, the world system is demonically controlled, demonically infected. But when you come in there and see a situation where the devil is trying to reign, you can break his power. Through the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And in my name, by my power of attorney, by my will, in my name, I cast out devil. I break your power over these people's lives where they can be set free. And they shall speak with new tongues. The denominational church gets all turned around when you start taking the scripture. They shall speak with new tongues. God will give you a new tongue. Sometimes it's a tongue of the earth. Other times it's a tongue of heaven. And as you pray in those unknown tongues, it's a battery. It charges up your spirit so that you'll be able to minister to people with power. We talk about an effectual door was open, a powerful door. And it's the tongue of the Lord, of the Holy Spirit, that gives you the authority to go forth. Hallelujah. And then verse 18, they shall take up serpents. And if, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. I want you to see a practical example 
of dealing with serpents and scorpions and snakes. Those are plots and schemes that the devil puts out to try to block you from going forth. Turn with me to Acts, the 28th chapter of Acts. Turn there. Acts 28. Acts 28. Are you with me? Acts 28. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. I want to make sure that you are with me. Now, the background of this is Paul. had prisoners with him. And they were on the ship and it became shipwreck. And they're about 75 miles south of Sicily. And they came onto this island of Melita. And in verse 2 it says that the, barbar- as the barbarian people showed us no little kindness, for they kindled a fire and received us every one because of the present rain and because of the cold. Now catch this right here. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. Now, you got to remember, it's been told that I give you power and authority, authority over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And not only that, the scripture says, in my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. take up serpents. So this is where a serpent came out of the wood when they started the fire and locked on Paul's hand. And they said among themselves, the barbarian people, no doubt this man is a murderer whom though he has escaped the sea, yet vision suffered him not to live. Verse 5. And he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Sometimes flocks are the schemes of the devil. He's trying to block you. He's trying to stop you. He's trying to corrupt you. you got to learn to shake it off. Shake off the plan of the devil. Shake off that situation that's trying to stop you and thwart you and discourage you and make you feel like you can't make it. Yes, you can make it. Hallelujah. I give you power and authority over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm you. Even though this snake locked on his hand and it was a venomous snake, a poisonous snake, and the barbarian said, oh, yeah, he's a prisoner. He probably is a murderer. And he's going to drop dead right on the spot or swell up. But notice what happened. Acts 28 and 5. And he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Howbeit they looked when he should have swollen or falling down dead suddenly, but after they had looked a great while and saw no harm come to him, they changed their mind. Wicked people, evil people, they try to set up schemes and things against you, and literal snakes, and expect you to 
die from the bite of a snake. But when you didn't die, they changed their mind. My God. They changed their mind so that they said he, is, he was a God. They'd never seen a person have a snake latch onto his hand and bite him, and the person didn't die. But these signs still follow them that believe. And when the people see the signs of believers, you can have all kind of philosophical arguments you want. You can go ahead and preach the gospel to many people, but it won't affect them. But when they see a sign showing that Jesus is Lord, they'll change their mind. And that's what happened with Paul. They expected that man, once he was bitten by that viper, to die. But he didn't die. And they changed their mind and said, man, he must be a god. Because we know that people that are bitten by these snakes, we have experience to know that the ones who have been bitten in the past died. But this man did not die. So he must be a special person. He must be a god. And that's the thing that I want you to know. You can enter into this world system, which is wicked. In the Greek, it's the cosmos. It's wicked. Darkness. It's, it has the people where they cannot see and hear the truth. But when you go forth and minister the truth with signs following, and Jesus will work with you. If you tell them the truth, hallelujah, the people will be affected by what you say, and they'll change their mind and say that Jesus truly is Lord. That's what we've got to do. We've got to get out of complacency. We have to use the experience that we have. And each of you, from the smallest to the greatest, have the gospel of Jesus Christ, and you can affect people and change their minds, and they'll come with you to be saved. You have everything that you need. You don't have to go find the bishop. You don't have to go find the pastor. The Spirit of God is in you. And you can speak forth and open your mouth and proclaim that Jesus is Lord. You can lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And when they do recover, they say, wow, we've never seen anything like this before. I want what they have. I want to be saved the way they're saved. Glory to God. And that's what I say to you. When the beast comes out of the fire, when the beast comes out of the challenge, when the beast comes out of that situation that's the negative and tries to bring you down, you've got to be the type of person to shake it off. What I said, say it, shake it off. Shake Come it off. on now, shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Amen. Amen. No matter what you're going through, that the devil tries to set up a plot and a scheme against you, you have to shake yes. it off. <laughs> Amen. And when you shake it off, shake it off and drop it in the fire, the very thing that they're trying to use against you will be used against them, and they'll be destroyed by the plot and the scheme that they have for you. Glory to God. Glory That's why we have to shake it off. That's good news. Do you hear me? Yes. Can yes. you hear me now? Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Shake it off. Yes. Shake it off. You have some things. Yes. You have to shake it off. Yes. Shake it off. You have some things that you're facing. You have some things that seemingly trying to bring you down. You have some things that are trying to corrupt you. You've been delivered from many things in the past. And 
It's like a dog to return to its vomit and start licking it up. God wants you delivered from your past and the things that you have done in the past. And you have to literally shake off. Shake it off. <laughs> Don't go back there in the previous things that you were doing. Mm. Move beyond the area that we were in before. All have sin and come short of the glory of God. And you need to come out of it and stay out of it by the blood of the Lamb. And that's why I said, shake it off. Shake it off. And if you shake it off, the enemy will have no authority over you. Hallelujah. If you shake it off, he will not be able to get the upper hand with you. Yes. You have to be able to say, no, devil, no, devil. Mm -hmm. I mean, in O. Mm. No, mm. devil. And when you go ahead and use your authority, the blood of the Lamb, the name of Jesus, what happens in that situation is it neutralizes the forces of darkness and where the world system has them in gross darkness. Where evil doth abound, grace much more abound. The, where, where the devil has a plot going on that's in wickedness, God will bring forth more grace and make sure that you can overcome because of, he says in, Mark 16 and 17, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, name. this shall cast out devil. You'll be able to break the power of the devil through the name of Jesus. You'll be able to break the power of the devil through the power of attorney of Jesus. You'll be able to break the power of the devil by you literally invoking the name of Jesus over the situation and proclaiming victory in the situation. Come on, saints. Praise God. Come on now. Praise God. Amen. 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 Say that. Say that. Make it plain. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you're strong in the Lord and in the power Amen. of his might. Whatever is he in you than he that is in the world. You're more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And you might as well stand up. This is our time. This is our season. We are to rebuke the devourer and to come forth with power and authority. Women are to come forth. Men are to come forth. Teenagers are to come forth. Hallelujah. Young adults are to come forth. It's our time. Yes. And God just wants us to really stand up. And if you read the text, we go ahead and read Mark 16 and 19. So that after the Lord has spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and set on the right hand of God. Verse 20. And they went forth. Mm -hmm. and preached everywhere. They broke mm -hmm. the power of the world system. Mm -hmm. The Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. God will work with you if you stand up. Mm -hmm. If you say something, he'll back you up. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Mm -hmm. And God doesn't want the devil to, to just reign and rot havoc in the earth. No. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And they that dwell therein. Yes. And the devil just not, cannot have full reign if you put your foot down in your family and mm. say no devil, it is no. Mm. Mm. If you stand up and say you're not going to have my property. 
you are trying to assert yourself and take my home. But I say, by the authority of Jesus Christ and by the word of God, you will not have this property. You can't have it. Because God is blessed to be the procurer of it and the owner of it. And I give God the praise that he backed me up and does not let my property be stolen from me. Amen. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Glory I give to your name. Praise Hallelujah. 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 Glory yes. to your name, Lord. Yes. And he says, I will live and not die. Over this part of the, the world system, it wants to block us, sort us, kill us. But greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Greater is he that's in you than COVID in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, God. And we just have to stand tall. Yes. Stand up. Mm. Be bold. <laughs> Hallelujah.
and God is going to give you special favor on your job and wherever you are. Because it's time now that the social system, the cosmos, is interrupted by revival and people being saved by the people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, thank you. Give the Lord praise and thank God for the message. Thank God for his word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you for the word. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Is there anyone else that wanted to share anything? Have you ever seen anybody as God ministers through you get healed? Have any of you, any of you ever experienced that? Yeah, I have that there. Good. Now, who was that? That was Clem? I have yeah, two pastors. Good. Can you hear me? Okay, I do have you on the I do have you on the speaker because I was recording. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Okay. 